Lucy Gunn at FIE 2017. I'm here at the Cancor stand with Jimon Cora. Uh, Jimon, could you maybe tell us a bit about uh, what sort of new opportunities you're seeing within the natural ingredient space? Good morning, Lucy. And uh, yes, that's a good question because um, you know Cancor has been in the natural ingredient space for the last 50 years, close to 50 years. And we've been working on specialized products, sourcing raw material from various parts of the world. And over the last eight to 10 years, what we have seen is this growing trend, moving away from synthetics into naturals. Now, to replace all the synthetics that has been in our food systems to a completely natural ingredient is a big challenge. At the same time, it's an interesting one uh, because that opens up a world of opportunities for companies like us. When you look at, for example, uh, one of our areas of specialization, which we shortlisted about eight to ten years back, was the growing role of natural antioxidants. You know, we have synthetic antioxidants. We have um, what we have done is we have looked at which applications and how to kind of address this issue using natural antioxidants. And one of the first products we have focused on is rosemary, uh, our whole range of oxycan products. It's a it's a branded uh, trademark uh, oxycan. Uh, trade name now and what we have done is the challenges that typically accompanies these uh, nat natural antioxidants is that it has when you extract something from a plant material you have a flavor you have a color you have aroma to it so it is not entirely neutral when you add it into a food medium the challenge is to make it neutral and Cancor has developed a product which is called as the Oxycan R the Oxycan CL which are amazing products, uh, so much that we actually, in the very first uh, year of its launch in 2016, we won the World Best Beverage Ingredient Award because it was completely colorless, odorless, and flavorless. So it's a completely neutral product and is far better as an antioxidant in terms of its efficacy in the applications. Now for different applications, you need different iterations of these products so if it's for a meat application or if it's for a bakery application or if it's for a beverage application there are different iterations of the same product so this is something which we have developed over the last few years and it's been wonderful and today you know we are looking at putting up much larger capacities we are looking at backward integration of the rosemary globally so that we meet our future requirements so that's been a fantastic journey for us in addition to that We've always uh, been a primary producer of natural colors. We used to do turmeric, paprika, marigold, and also chlorophyll. Today, we do a whole range of products which very few people in the industry can actually uh, produce because we are one of the primary producers starting from the raw material, from the farm stage, right up to the application stage for the end customer. There are very few people in the world of natural ingredients that does that. So when you look at our range of products and we have created a whole palette of colors with four different applications. And again, I'm happy to say that our team has done well, that we've been shortlisted as the finalist uh, the World Innovation Awards this year from a, uh, from a number of uh, entries, that, from 227 entries from 35 countries to being a top 10 finalist is a commendable achievement for a product line that has just been launched. So clearly our focus has been on creating a niche in the natural ingredient segment, creating value for our customers and being in India, having the technologies that, and the expertise over the last 50 years, we've been able to bring that not just as a value add, but also as a cost effective solution to our customer. And that's really uh, you know, giving us good momentum and I would say encouragement to dream even bigger. Yeah. So uh, you're seeing a lot of opportunities, a lot of growth within the company. Um, you already spoke a little bit about some challenges, but how about the challenges when it comes to sourcing? Sourcing is of natural ingredients is always a challenge, you see, um, because the land mass is not growing. The area under agriculture is consistently coming down. So what we have done is to tie up with universities where we get better yields per acreage, higher productivity for the farmer, while also ensuring higher content of actives in the raw material. So we've actually been doing 
years of research and backing uh, th those research with our funds to ensure that the material that we have is of a far higher quality, is far less susceptible to diseases and pests, more robust. So there's a lot of plant engineering also going on in the background to create a sustainable process going future which adds value even to the farmer. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you, Lucy.